It's been four months that I've owned this 2011 Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. Now this is a K9 unit that was in service in Connecticut and it has about 100,000 miles. And this is my first engine light warning on the dash. So it's a solid engine light. It just popped up one day. I parked it and I put in the code reader which I think everybody should have as a code reader. I have a link in the description to two of them that I have. And I got a code of PO193. So what is the PO193? So that is the fuel rail pressure sensor high input. Basically, the code reader explains that it could be several things. Uh, it could be too high of a pressure in the fuel rail. That could be a faulty sensor it could be a pump it could be all the stuff there's videos on how to diagnose it and but i'm gonna just assume that it's old looks old never been changed so i'm just gonna change out the part hoping that fix it so there are some tests that you could do to it but i am not that skilled and i rather just change the part assuming that the part has lived its lifespan and just needs changing considering how old these cars are so let's get in here pop the hood and i'll show you the location of it pretty easy to find and pretty easy to work on all you need is a little pry bar or screwdriver to pull this clip off the four pin wiring harness and you just pull off the vacuum hose on the other end. You got two nine millimeter bolts that you just unscrew. So they're basically hand snug tight, nothing crazy. Comes right out. The fuel um, sensor, you gotta pop it out a little bit because there's a bit of a gasket there and it needs a nice tight seal. You pop that out. And they looked exactly the same. I'm keeping the other one just in case. You squeeze the other one in, it snaps in place. Tighten up the screws hand tight. 10 millimeter and you put in the plug and the vacuum hose and hopefully this solves the problem the car started up no problem i had no running problems or starting issues which could be uh, signs of the sensor going bad it just really happened quick and I just replaced it quick before all that nonsense started. And another good reason to have a code reader is that I reset the code. I took it for a 25 mile test drive and all is good so far. And I think that solved the issue. No light came back on and easy fix. I avoided going to a mechanic with some basic information off the internet and being able to have some basic tools and tinker with it. So if you came this far in the video, hopefully this helped you out and you consider liking, subscribing, checking out the links in the description and thanks for the support.